I want to talk a bit about the Russia Ukraine war and your message for peace. You've okay. been advocating okay. that there should be peace between uh, Russia and Ukraine. Yeah. Do you see that happen at all or do you think this war which has been continuing for the last several months will continue for the next several months? I wish sense prevail. You know, this war has caused very heavily to the world. And we have center in Ukraine. We have Artavlin center. How is that doing right now? Is it still functional? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Our, our teachers and volunteers are there. They are engaged in work. So Must much have relief been very work tough for them. So much relief work they are doing. But to see the resilience and the enthusiasm in them, I really uh, appreciate that. You see, I, I made a phone call and thinking they will be having some complaint. You know, they were having fun actually. Really? Yeah, they were. In the sense, they were, they had humor, they had resilience, they are fully spirited to go and work, and they're doing quite a bit of relief work. Yeah, it's amazing to see the uh, uh, resilience and the resolute nationality in Ukraine. Do you see a message of peace? Uh, yeah, we started uh, standing up. I stand up for peace campaign throughout uh, Europe and America and South America everywhere and it it got very good response throughout the world and uh, yeah we have to send the message see when we are so desperate we don't know what to do because someone else is waging a war you get into more depression but when you know that you can put your intention we all stand up for peace at least it gives you uh, Somewhere to vent your, uh, you know, put your energy. In some channel you can put your energy. And, uh, you know, our thought power is not small. Uh -huh. Then we are collectively have a big uh, intention and it does manifest. So for peace, of course, uh, nobody could expect that the war would go for so long. And Ukraine started reclaiming many of the territories. Well, that's why I say um, you can't underestimate the human power and human intention. Of course, there is a divine will there. So, peace is the only way forward. Without peace, there is no prosperity. Without prosperity, there is no peace.